To get started with Unreal Engine, you need to get an Epic Games launcher and Epic Games accounts, go to Unreal Engine, library, install the version that you would like, and hit the launch icon to launch your Unreal Engine project. Once you launched Unreal Engine, you can create in one of these categories, for example in games, choose a third person layout to get really easily started, and these default settings will do as a beginner and hit the create button, or go to one of your recent projects, hit it one here, double click or open this one up here. It is pretty easy to navigate around an Unreal Engine 5. For example, you can use it like a shooter game with the WASD keys just to zoom in and out and just move around. Also a handy key is when you click an object and you hit the F key, you focus on a point. And when you hold Alt key and the left mouse button, you can pan around that object. Scrolling in and out will be used for zoom. Or you can use the WASD keys while holding the right mouse button again. You can change the speed of the camera right here to go really fast in and out or to slow it down for more precision you see now it's really slow so when I hit F key you see it's really slow so the default one is 4 and you can use the scaler right here now you see these buttons right here for example now I can select it but as default I leave it as this you can also see the short keys W, E and R these arrows I can move my object around in the three different axes, X, Y, and Z axis. Or I can use it to rotate this one, Ctrl Z multiple times to undo an action. Or I can scale it wider, thicker, smaller in one of those other axes. Now you can see it is snapping to a grid. So if you want to disable snapping, for example, for the scaler, you can disable snapping right here and goes more smoothly or if you want it more accurate you can hit the numbers and just set the scaler how much you would like it to have now you can also drag around with the windows for example here in the content drawer i can hit Control space to open this one up or just hit the button right here when i hit in my viewport again it disappears so what you can do is dock it in the layout so it is always right here or if you don't need it anymore you can hit the tab right here you can also drag a tab to any place you would like, for example the world outliner here. I can just drag this in my middle, but when I move outside of this rectangle space right here, you can see it snaps to top, bottom or right, for example, just like this. Or you can move it back into place, for example, right here. Now, if you want to undo this layout, you can go to Window, Load Layout and then get the default editor layout once again when you mess up. You can also go to load layout and use the UE4 classic layout if you're most used to that one. But I like the default layout of Unreal Engine 5. So I will choose as this one and hit Ctrl space to open this one up. Now the items are right here in create so you can just create anything right here. You can also type something you would need for example when I use water from the plugin or something it will just come right here or you can just type nav mesh for example because this is already integrated so that's also pretty handy there the content is right here for different content browsers o or to open the quixel bridge is right here get new level blueprints right here click blueprints find a level blueprint or open a new one and create any one you would like or in the content drawer when you right click you can also in create new blueprints, folders or animations, materials, anything you would like. Now, more handy things here in Unreal Engine 5. When you go to File, you can create new levels, save your levels or import and zip them. You can also find Editor Preferences right here in Edit. And you can really tweak your game right here. Also in Edit there are the project settings, for example, when you go to engine input you can see all your input actions right here and you can add to them you can delete to this and really see the settings of the current project you're working on right here plugins for example when you add, want to add a water plugin you just enable it here restart unreal engine and then drag it into your scene like that now tools you can create c++ classes or any other of these things right here Builds the lighting only for example, but in Unreal Engine 5, Lumen is enabled. Also pretty neat, the basic features are right here on top. 
for example, now I'm in the editing mode, so I can edit my level like this. I can tweak my landscape here, the foliage here, paint my meshes here, add fractures here, or brush edit right there. So this is the very basics of Unreal Engine. And also right here in the world outliner, when you click here, you get the viewport, construction ships and event graph. So coming from Unreal Engine 4, this will seem familiar to you. So I really like the new layout and I hope you got some basic tips out of this one for your navigation or basic settings and where they are in Unreal Engine 5.